Trump just destroyed welfare leeches abusing food stamps with four little words they dread by Dom the Conservative Politics U.S. News from AdWorldNews.com. In a bid to crack down on welfare abuse, President Donald Trump just announced a surprising new change to the federal food stamp program, uttering four words that are sure to outrage millions of welfare leeches. During the eight years that Barack Obama was in the White House, unemployment soared, the economy sank, the millions of career welfare users were enabled to burden the taxpayers without fear. Obama phones free, health care and student loan forgiveness were dangled in front of potential Democrat voters, while the already encumbered blue-collar workforce was left to foot the bill. However, in uh, just one year's time, President Donald Trump has set numerous economic records, reducing unemployment, cutting taxes, and bolstering the stock market like never before. In addition to lightening the yoke on hardworking citizens, Trump has once again turned his force, uh, focus actually, to the idle parasites who simply want to use our country's welfare system as a career opportunity rather than a temporary stepping stone to financial independence for which it's intended. In a brilliant effort to ensure that the lazy are no longer entitled to live off welfare, the Donald Trump administration has finally revealed legislation that will require uh, food stamp recipients to work for their benefits because it is the pathway to self-sufficiency, Breitbart reports. On January 24th, officials announced that the 2018 Farm Bill will emphasize the requirement of employment for millions of able-bodied welfare users by directing them to enroll in job training programs in order to be less dependent upon taxpayer-funded or uh, government assistance. During a press conference in Miffletown, Pennsylvania, uh, Agricultural Secretary Sonny, uh, Sonny Perdue told reporters that the Trump administration is pushing to enforce work requirements in a legislative move that motivates welfare recipients who can work to adopt an independent lifestyle, according to Bloomberg. It's evident that there are able-bodied adults without dependents who are on food, uh, the food stamp program, who we believe it is in their best interests and their family's best interest to move to an independent lifestyle. Purdue announced Wednesday during the last uh, downturn uh, it became a lifestyle for some people. We don't want it to become permanent. Purdue reiterated that these changes are actually the administration's efforts to restore the federal welfare program to its original purpose, which is a temporary assistant instead of a permanent enabler. He confirmed that Requiring able-bodied adults to work in order to receive government benefits would also save taxpayers billions of dollars. You will see more of an evolution than a revolution in this year's law, Purdue said. There are some things that we can do and will propose to do in the farm bill that can be helpful. As of 2015, the Agricultural Department confirmed that only 57% uh, of uh, working age able-bodied adults who enrolled in the welfare program even have a had a job or were actively looking for one. Furthermore, only 22% of recipients claim disabilities that prevent them from working, provi uh, proving that the majority of food stamp users are not necessarily unable to provide for themselves. Um, yeah. The legislation is uh, so beneficial on many levels that uh, s several states have already passed the bill with some introducing work requirements as early as 2013. Of course, Democrats are widely opposed to the new legislation as a large portion of their uh, voters is those who have become dependent upon government assistance. Democrats have long used welfare as a means of coaxing support, especially from low-income families, however. Their enabling is merely disguised as compassion, since their intention is to keep impoverished families dependent upon the government, which makes them easier to control. Incredibly, President Donald Trump's first year in the White House saw a massive decrease in welfare usage. In fact, uh, within the first six months of his inauguration, enrollment for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, 
was the lowest it's been since 2010 under the Obama administration. However, welfare dependency once again swelled at the beginning of 2018, prompting President Trump to quickly respond to the uptick. The total number of SNAP recipients has uh, risen to a whopping 45.6 million, which is just over 14% of the total U.S. population. President Donald Trump's uh, farm bill is a major step in not only making America great again, but making Americans self-sufficient again. I'd like to know what's going on. Uh, remember when Obama was bringing in the Muslims and they were getting like four grand a month? I'd like to know about that program. What's being done about that program? And they were sending money overseas to like, they have like uh, two, three wives down there and uh, maybe about 15 kids, who, who knows? And, and that was being sent. They were taking the money from here and sending it down. And, uh, you know, that's what I'm interested in, not the basic uh, bull crap that's going on over here. I want to know because those are the, that's the money that's the real money because welfare is just, uh, what were they getting? They're getting, they were getting four grand a month plus housing plus everything. Who's taking care of that situation? That's what I'd like to know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you have any info on that, uh, let me know. Uh, and again, thank you so much for watching.